We are live, you guys. How's it going? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, of course. What's up, guys? Man, someone told me, do you love coffee, huh? Mmm, I do love coffee. <laughs> I think coffee loves me, too. So, today I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you about commitment. I hope I spell that right. There's a man right there. Commitment. 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 What is about commitment that is uh, so important for me to talk about? Look, guys, I think commitment is everything. Commitment is getting rid of the bullshit and diving deep into whatever whatever your thing is. Whether it be uh, your art career, uh, a relationship, a goal, whatever it is, if you don't commit, it won't happen. But when we think about commitment, we think about, well, you know, I, I told myself I was going to do this. I'm going to really work at this and I'm going to see what happens. That's not commitment. Okay, that's not commitment. Uh, I'm going to try to make this work. That's not commitment. Um, I love this person, but I'm going to see where it goes. That's not commitment. I want a gallery exhibit, but we'll see what happens. That's not commitment. Commitment is... Commitment is whatever it takes. Or, if you're like me, whatever it fucking takes. Okay? That's commitment. I love this. There you go. Commitment is whatever it fucking takes. It's not, it's not, well, we'll see, we'll try, let me see if I can do it, let me see if I'll squeeze this in here or whatever. No. Commitment is, I didn't go to sleep. I woke up, I woke up early, either way, I didn't go to sleep, I woke up early, I went to sleep late, I woke up early, I, I don't have enough time, there, I don't care if I don't have enough time, I don't care if I don't have resources, I don't care what I don't have, I'm going to make it happen, commitment is, the odds are against me, or they look like they're against me, and I'm still going to go kick its ass, that's what commitment is, it's burning the boat, most of us are failing at our, whatever we want, because of this, because of the lack of commitment. Because we told ourselves we want this. Most artists are like, man, I want a gallery exhibit, but you didn't commit to it. You didn't commit, there's no commitment. There's just, I want that, I w it's wishful thinking, it's hoping, it's even diving in and saying, well, I'm gonna go and see, if I get it, I get it. If not, I'm not gonna die over it. No, commitment is I'm going to die, I'm willing, I'm willing to die over it. Commitment is I'm willing to put everything I got. Uh, one of the things that I've, I've learned when it comes to, to commitment is that it doesn't come with balance. Commitment does not come with balance. Most people are trying to be zen, and I, I'm not against that at all. Of course, the world more, needs more zen. It, the world needs more, more balance, but in the sense of spiritual, right? The mental, the spiritual. But when it comes to action, or it comes to being in charge of something, or going after something... Balance is, not, balance is not a thing you need. See, most of us are very confused when it comes to this. We're like, okay, well, if I, if I overcommit, that's a word we use, right? Overcommit, then where am I going to find time for work, children, and this and that, and my spouse, and my, my day job, and blah, blah, blah. But that's not how this works, guys. You want to overcommit. As a matter of fact, you won't commit unless you overcommit. There will be no commitment unless you're willing to sweat and die in the, in, in, the, in the arena. You cannot commit over the bleachers. You cannot commit, you cannot commit sitting on the bleachers and looking, looking at the game. The only way you can commit is getting dirty. Maybe you're going to get hurt. Hopefully, because if you get hurt, it means you're playing the game. Right? Committing means that, you're, that it feels like you're losing... From the mind, from the mental space, but you're really not. You're what you're doing is you're advancing. It just feels like that in the beginning. It feels like, oh my God, how, how am I going to get A, B, C, D, and you know F done? I need to, I need to come up with time to create artwork. I need to come up with time, right? You don't, you don't need time, by the way. You need commitment, which is use the word time in order to to put a bandaid on it. 
I need to come up with time to go visit galleries. I need to come up time to create artwork, frame artwork, and on and on and on, and I don't have enough time. Look, commitment means I'm gonna make it happen. Look, I, I've, I've learned one thing in being an artist, being a full-time artist. You got two things, okay? You got two things only. You got one or two things. No bullshit, guys. Okay? If you, if you get this, I promise you, you're going to start shifting your mindset. You got two things. Maybe you either got time or you got cash. Those are the two things you got. And the only reason I'm talking about this is I'm talking about art, art, an art career. Okay? I'm not, I'm not a, an economist in any, in any way or anything like that. I'm talking about my art career. Your art career. You either got time or you got resources. You either got time or you got opportunities. You either got time or you got cash. Most people were like, man, I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Oh, okay. Well, pay someone. I can't pay someone. Oh, okay. Then you do have time. You just haven't, you ha you haven't committed. Okay. If you can't pay someone, you should be doing it yourself. You should stop saying that you don't have time. Time is a... It's not even real. It's something we made up. Every every culture made up time. It's it's a, it's 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 it's. I talked about this extensively in other videos. It's a man-made idea. It's not even real. The whole idea of time is not real. And the time, where where we we say the word time, because what we're referring to is the change is the change. The conditioning changes of of the environment, the people, whatever. Uh, you age, and we call that time, but, but you never really change. I mean, you, you yourself, the space never really changed. It's just you change. The thing, the, 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 the object itself is changing. We measure movement. When we measure movement and we measure change, we call that time. It's not even real. I know it's a bit more, more what I'm talking about, it's a bit more philosophical, more esoteric. But since the beginning of time, when we saw the moon move, or the sun we started measuring that. The measurement of change equals time. So it's not even real. Anyways, that's a whole other, that's a whole other topic. But look guys, commitment is the thing that comes first. Now most people, most people are waiting for creativity, okay? Most people are like, man, I don't have creativity. No, you, it's not like you don't have creativity. Oh, I gotta come up with ideas. As soon as you start coming up with Reasons, right? Reasons are really excuses, but no one confronts this monster. Monster, we just we, we say no, no, no. My reasons are real. Yeah, of course, everyone's everyone's reasons are reasoning for doing something or not doing something are real. Everyone's. Everybody acts like they have a, a what do they call this? A, a special situation, but the reality, guys, is that there's seven. Over almost 8 billion of us in this world, no, not that many of us have a very special situation, guys. Most of us, there's almost seven, over 7 billion people in planet Earth. Do you really think it's that special, the situation? Do you, do you really think that other people haven't experienced what you're experiencing right now? And, and it, maybe not emotionally, maybe emotionally everybody, everybody has a, their own world in their mind. But physically, what's really happening it's, it's not a special situation, guys. It's not that special. The thing is that we come up with reasons. We're trying, to, we're trying to make sense of our lack of commitment. And I know this is a hard, a hard thing to swallow. Uh, when I talk about this, uh, some, some people get a little upset. The artists are like, man, what are you talking about? This and that. I've gotten some comments on YouTube. Look, guys, you got to confront that monster. You get committed, okay, first. Most artists are trying to get creative. They're trying to get skinny. They're trying to get smart. They're trying to get, uh, I don't know, like, oh, if I do this, then, then this is going to happen. And, yeah, I'm going to come up with a, a, a way, a formula, a technique, a strategy, a tactic as to how to make things work. And I always talk about strategies and tactics, but they don't come first. They never come first, okay? No matter what you learn from me, let's say that I've... I've you, you get one of my workshops or whatever, they do not come first. Commitment comes first. Commitment is senior. Commitment is always senior to everything else. 
First come commitment, then creativity folds. Most of us are trying to get creative first. You're missing the, you're missing the point, guys. It's commitment first. Commitment. Commitment will allow you to not, be, to not procrastinate. Commitment will allow you to, to, stop, to stop all the bullshit. All the bullshit. All the little problems that you come up with throughout your day. I don't have time. The materials are not right. My canvases are not big enough. Uh, I don't know, whatever. The frames don't look right for my paintings. I need to find a style to paint. I don't know what to paint. I'm not inspired. All of that's bullshit. It's because there is no commitment. If you had commitment, you would have everything else. Do not give yourself an out. Do this for yourself. Don't give yourself an out. Okay? I'm doing a workshop specifically for this. It's going to be a long, one of those, one of those longer workshops, guys. Specifically for this, how to get out of it and how, how to ingrain this thing, this thing in you. Because this, this is a, unlike, unlike a shower, right? Like we go, we shower and we're like, oh yeah. You don't shower once and say, I'm going to stay clean for the rest of the month. You have to shower every day, right? Because you have to make sure that you stay clean every day. Most of us, at least. Uh, commitment is the same way. You cannot be like, oh, I'm committed and then I'm good. I'm good for the year. Commitment is not a promise you make for yourself. Commitment is a constant, a constant promise. You don't promise yourself once. Commitment is a constant promise you make for yourself. It's a constant promise to raise the bar of what is acceptable in your life. So, I hope that this is making sense to you guys out there. Because I know so many artists have asked me, dude, how do you do this? How do you do that? Dude, you don't need to know how to do this or that. You need to commit. That's all. So anyways, guys, a workshop for commitment is coming up soon. And, uh, and I'm going to do it free, of course. It's going to be a free workshop. If you don't catch the workshop, you're probably going to have to pay for it later. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to do a free workshop first and, and see if uh, whoever wants to come in and watch the, the entire workshop. Let me know. DM me. And we'll get to that. All right? Take care, guys. Peace.